What is mica and how do you use it? Well, mica is a mineral used for its vivid non-bleeding colors or shimmery effects. Natural mica is mined and synthetic mica is made. Synthetic mica is still composed of minerals and is often used to create glittery, ultra-reflective powders. It's also an environmentally friendly alternative to something like plastic glitter. For use in products like soap, cosmetics, and bath bombs, mica is ground to a fine powder and then coated with pigments. Whether naturally mined or synthetic, cosmetic mica powders would not be considered 100% natural because the pigments that coat the powder are lab created. So how much mica powder should you use? Well, it'll depend on what you're making and how much of it, but trust me, a little goes a long way. Different amounts of the same mica powder can result in a wide range of hues. When starting out, stir a small amount of mica powder into your base to see the resulting shade. You can always add more until you achieve the desired color. Now, if you're familiar with making candles or soaps, you know that we always recommend measuring materials on a scale. And like fragrance oils and essential oils, mica powders also vary in density. While it's still best practice to weigh your materials to ensure accuracy, it's okay to start out measuring mica with small scoops or teaspoons when working in smaller batches. This is because the amount of mica used for small batch projects often won't register on many scales. Ideally, you would need a scale that measures in 0.01 gram increments like a jewelry or cosmetic scale. And for larger projects, measuring by weight will still be best. Mica powders in soap result in vivid, steadfast colors, and they work a little differently than liquid soap dye. Mica becomes suspended within the soap while liquid dyes combine with it. Both liquid soap dyes and micas are great ways to add color to your projects, and they can even be combined and used together. Clear melt and pour soap bases are the best option for vibrant soaps, but you can still use mica in white bases. It'll just produce a more pastel color, and the shimmering effects can appear muted. In addition to soap, mica is great for a ton of different products because it won't react or dissolve in many bases. Mica can be used in a wide range of products like these. Shimmering body oils, body lotion and butter, cosmetics like eyeshadow, blush, and highlighter, lip gloss and lipstick, and nail polish. However, not all micas can be used in all products, so check the product description to ensure the mica you're using is approved for that product, especially if you'll be making eye products, lip products, or bath bombs. Mica can also be used in wax products. However, it might not always be the best way to color your wax, and there are some potential performance issues to be aware of. Micas do not dissolve in wax, rather the particles become suspended after it solidifies. When warming a wax melt made with mica powder, for example, you'll notice swirl patterns emerge as the wax melts. These patterns occur because as the wax melts, the mica powder is released and can move around in the liquid wax. When wax is fully melted, mica eventually settles to the bottom of the melt pool, and the top of the wax will return to its original color. Mica powders can be a fun way to customize your wax melts and wickless candles, just be aware that the look of your wax can change after each melt cycle. If you'd like your wax to maintain some color after the melt cycles, candle dye can be combined with mica powder for wax melts and wickless candles. But can you use mica in candles? Unfortunately, we wouldn't recommend it. Mica powder can clog the wick and create burn issues like tunneling or self-extinguishing in candles. Now you may have seen candles made with mica, we know it's done. And every maker's materials and technique are different, so you can always test. But because we have seen consistent issues during our testing, we can't confidently recommend micas for use in candles. I hope that helps, but if you'd like more information on micas or how to use them, check out the link below.